But it may have ended with a search warrant today in Portland's uh, southeast Centennial neighborhood. But what tipped off investigators in the first place was a YouTube docuseries where detectives say their suspect tried to hide his identity. Inside this home on Southeast 174th Avenue. This was the mother load of uh, graffiti evidence that we've ever found. Officer Nate Kirby Glatkowski describes just some of what Portland police officers discovered. More than 1,500 cans of spray paint, somewhere in the range of ten dollars to $20,000 worth of spray paint. On top of that, um, many, many, many buckets, five gallon, one gallon buckets of paint, um, all the materials to do tons of graffiti crimes. Evidence officers say they first saw in a YouTube docuseries called Chaos Town. Basically, anything that you could possibly need for a mission. We got bags, ladders, um, over here we have paint rollers. In an episode from May, the creators spoke with a man hiding his identity, responsible for Geimer. Short for graffiti is me escaping reality tags across the city. It's like a superhero role. You know, you're putting on a cape and you're, you're going to do something that you believe is right. My alter ego was created right then and there. But now Portland police have unmasked him as 40 year old James Fischel. Well, Mr. James Fischel has been doing graffiti for a long time. Um, and we were able to rely on some uh, previous arrests of him to help us get a good starting point. And then we had to track down where that warehouse was. Neighbors we spoke with off camera tell us they weren't sure what was going on here, but didn't expect this. This is by far the most uh, paint and graffiti supplies we've ever found um, by a massive amount. We filled up three 13 passenger vans completely with graffiti supplies and evidence. Investigators say Fischl was not home at the time, but they are aware of his location and plan to pursue criminal charges. David, well, as they said, the mother load there. Thank you, Alma.